Guys, Alex here, guitarforest.com. So in today's video, I'm going to show you part of the lesson on how to play a song called "Politician" by Cream, and uh, this was requested and supported by longtime supporter Tom. So big thanks goes out to him for the support. And uh, this is a uh, live version. It's taken from the uh, CD, which is called uh, "Live Cream Volume 2." So it's not a studio version, but uh, from the uh, live performance. And um, the uh, full lesson is going to be available at guitarforce.com. You can find the link in the description box down below. And uh, with the download, you're going, to, you're going to be getting the full lesson, all of the tabs in PDF format, and um, a backing track, and also a playthrough. Uh, a full playthrough, which I'm going to also post to my other channel. So if you're interested, you can find the link in the description box uh, down below as well. The uh, tuning for this song is going to be standard and uh, for the sound I was using the uh, VST plugin guitar rig. I'm going to show you the picture of the preset right now and uh, while you're checking out the uh, picture of the preset I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. So as usual we're going to break up the song into parts. We're going to start off with the first part with the verse and the way this song is played it goes like this. We have a riff which is a, a repetitive riff that we play and in the end of the riff we play um, a, a phrase and that goes throughout the entire song. So also another thing is uh, that we play in a sort of um, 12 bar blues uh, so we play four bars in D then we go for two bars G then back to the D and then for turning around we have uh, G6 uh, I'm sorry A6 um, and then we go to G6 and then we're back to the D and then the whole 12 bar uh, blues starts all over again but uh, we play like I said the riff first so the riff itself goes like this. Okay, so I'm not going to be explaining every string and every fret. You will see that in the tablature. Uh, but uh, the licks I'm, and the phrases I'm going to be playing them slow, slowly and a couple of times so you can uh, uh, hear the, uh, the sound how it goes. So the riff one more time. So we have uh, here in D. Uh, when we play here 16th notes, you can either pick every note or you can hammer on. Like that. So it's totally up to you. So that's the, uh, the riff. Uh, like I said, we, uh, the, the blues progression goes in D. Um, Alright, so let's start with the first with the first part. So it goes like this. Okay, so after the riff, the first feel that we have, the first phrase. So here, um, it's all based on the D minor pentatonic, by the way. So we're going to be playing it either in this position right here or here. Okay, so the fill one more time. Alright, so we have hammer on, then G string back to D string, and then you play um, a double stop. Uh, so the, the target note is the G string, but if you catch the B or and the D string, that's totally fine. And then we have a slide out. Like that. Then we play the riff again. 
Next fill goes like this. Okay, so we go to this position right here. So slowly. One more time. All right, then we transition to the G. So going uh, up a fourth. So also the uh, riff goes up a string basically. Okay, so the same frets but uh, a, a string up. Sliding up and then we have the next fill which goes like this. One more time. So here we're sliding out from this note after the fill. Here on the G string we have a slight bend. Then we play this note and we slide out and we actually take up uh, the, the first part of the riff. Uh, so we are back into the D and instead of playing here we have a slide out and then we we continue with the rest of the riff, so we go like that. The next fill goes one more time slowly. Now we come to the turnaround, so now we play in A. So the fifth chord, the fourth chord. Now during the chords we play the uh, the following riff goes like this. Okay, so here we're using we're breaking up the chord first of all. So play the bass notes, uh, and then we have um, this triad. So essentially it's a uh, A6 and you can play it either like that because it's a movable shape we're going to move it or you can play it like this. But this this uh, this way is a little bit harder to slide so I'm using this these fingers. So first playing the bass notes then we play the triad in a specific rhythm. So hit the chord, muted strings, then one more time the chord and then the triad and then we move down to frets. Pick it two times, slide up again back to this triad and then hit it one more time. And the same thing we do when we go to the G. So from the fifth chord to the fourth, from the uh, yeah, fifth chord to the fourth. Same thing, but we move everything down to frets. And then we're back to the riff to the D. And then we have the next fill. So, one more time. Alright guys, so that was it for this part. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you would like to continue learning the whole song, check out the link in the description box down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.